Mario. Thank God it's not Donkey Kong. Thank God it's not math. It's just good old Mario Brothers. Yes, not Super Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. Everybody's played Super Mario Brothers, but um, I've run into a staggering amount of people in my life who are uh, maybe not completely unfamiliar with the existence of Mario Brothers, or at least uh, not familiar with uh, how it plays, or they haven't played it. You know what I'm getting at here. And, uh, I mean, there's kind of a reason for that. It is... <laughs> it is just an arcade game at the end of the day. I say just an arcade game, you know, I mean... That might be a little reductive of me to say, but, uh... It's not the, you know, sweeping platformer adventure that Super Mario Brothers is. It's... Uh, what you're seeing is what the game is here. You, you get this one screen, you uh, smack turtles up from uh, below, and then you deal with them in therapy. See, look at this. So we need to jump over him, we get him. Oh, no. Should have known when he turned red that he was going to get back up. Yeah, they, uh, as you can clearly tell, they do not stay down forever. Ooh. And the controls are a little rough. Uh, these are not uh, indicative of, you know, what you'll get in the future with Super Mario Brothers. The jumping is a little stiffer. There's no controlling your jump midair. It's a much more uh, classic feel. I say this as if Super Mario Brothers isn't a classic in itself. You get what I'm saying. Uh, and yeah. For being real, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Mario Brothers. I'm... I'm not. It's, uh... You know, it's... It's the kind of game where... It does one thing, and it does that one thing over and over and over and over and over. And that's pretty much what the entire second wave of NES releases was. It was all arcade conversions for extremely simplistic arcade games. Donkey Kong, 1, 2, and 3, all very simple. Popeye... Oh yeah, that's right, we got Popeye coming up after this. Spoilers. Uh, Mario Brothers, yeah, these were all arcade games that didn't do a whole lot of anything particularly interesting. Okay, well, I, uh, totally forgot that you can bump them back up. So that was a mild, uh, you know, mistake on my part. Or a major mistake, which, however you want to see it, you know. Oh, I thought we, I thought we'd have time, but uh, we didn't. We, we we've still you know beaten our top score because our top score was uh, embarrassingly low. Look at that! You, just, you, you, you double up there and it's chasing you for your entire life. Oh no! Okay, it's good. We now have an out, and we've solved it. The game's. It's a tricky game, you know? Oh, test your skill? Well, bad news. I don't have any. Uh, or do we? We do have skill. Look at that. We got all the coins. Good for us. Perfect. 3,000 points. I, you know... What can you ask for about that? But lo and behold, the crabs are now in town, and they are uh, much more dangerous than, uh, I guess we'll call them Koopas. I don't know if they were canonically Koopas at this point in time yet, but, uh... The crabs suck, because, you know, you gotta hit them twice. As you can tell from just observing what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on, get up there. You know, it's really it's it's really easy to uh, completely um, mess up your jumps and accomplish something counterintuitive. Oh, come on, like right there. Once once you got your momentum in the wrong direction, it can really mess you up. Oh, that fireball. That was filthy fireball placement there, and uh, I'd like to speak to my legal representative about that. That is slander that makes me look worse at this game than I am. 
Nah, 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 I'm fine. I, I, I don't need any, you know, help looking bad at this game. Uh, you know, it's these... These arcade-style games... I've already said it. I've already been very straight up with you. I'm not great at them. Good, good, that's right. The turtle just turns around. Turtle, Koopa, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The deep Mario lore is ever-changing. It feels like just yesterday when, you know, the most that we had was that Wario is a bad guy and not a capitalist. Nah, he's always been a capitalist. I don't know if greed was necessarily such a, a huge factor of his character in uh, his initial appearance in Super Mario Land 2, but uh, it certainly was when he started getting his own games. And may I say, Wario games are fantastic. Not just WarioWare, which I do love, but like Wario Land. Excellent games. You wouldn't think so, but you know, you, you just gotta play them and see. And yeah, in case you're wondering, no, you, you cannot jump on top of them. Uh, you've probably already seen what happens when you land on them and it's a, it's a tragic display. No! Oh, that's tragic right there. We should have had him. Look at that. Flipping right down to that level. We're still not doing particularly well. You know. At least we can see if we can uh, have any skill. I think that this may be the slowest possible way to do that, so that's not going to help us out any. Oh yeah, no, we're definitely not getting all the coins this time. No skill. It was relatively close, but, you know, close only counts in things where it counts. That's how the saying goes. Now I wonder, can you, like, do a quick double tap on him? Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, that's gonna be your most effective way of dealing with crabs. That is not effective. Again, once once you've got momentum, if you launch yourself in a direction that you're not meaning to go, that's the end of it. Like, you can pretty much say goodbye. And yeah, this is all there is to the game. I don't think there are any other layouts. I think it's, it's just this one level design. It's, it's a pretty minimal game. So, you know, I wasn't hugely looking forward to this one either. You know, once we get past these initial few, like, releases, things are really gonna start picking up and you're gonna see some Kind of really cool stuff, honestly. I feel like the hype man who's just trying to keep people in the game until, like, the main event starts. You wait, once Metroid drops, it's gonna be a game changer. Yeah. Better to go this way, I think. coins, get the coins, get the turtles, and we're good. Okay. Okay, that was way better than last time. We still got two lives, we're still good here. Yo, I know I, sh I should probably keep talking for the sake of your entertainment here, but hey, once once you see a light at the end of the tunnel, you know, you just kind of want to dial in. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Uh, do we still have it? Oh, yeah, we still got it. We're still fine. 1.8 seconds left on the clock. Not even a concern. Again, you know, it's a game where the only thing that really awaits you is more points. Like, if you're not playing this game to get a high score, then you're, what are you playing this game for? There's there's nothing else to it. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. I am noticing that they are uh, spawning in s mildly different locations, too. It doesn't seem to be um, purely set in stone. Which is nice, you know, it forces you to be a little bit on your toes. You can't just uh, memorize the location of every spawn spot for them. Uh oh. No, that was bad news. And we're fine. Three lives! And I don't think we ever beat the crabs before, so, you know, it's those, it's like I said before, it's, it's those incremental improvements, you know, just getting 
slightly better with every attempt. As long as you're not getting progressively worse, that's very clearly a uh, positive. Look at that. Bonked two of them in one go. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, no, no. It's that momentum. It's it, it takes a lot to get used to. It takes a lot to get used to. It's not quite the verbiage that I was anticipating there, but, uh, you know. Nah, no, I thought... I don't know how you really avoid that. The green fireballs just seems to kind of be a hellish thing. Okay. I mean, the fireballs in general are all negative, obviously. Oh, look at that. A slightly uh, different looking girder. Ooh, don't like these. So if I'm if I'm reading the room correctly here, their gimmick is that you gotta, you know, get under them while they're actually touching the ground for that brief moment. Yeah, we're not getting that coin. It's it's a lost cause. Or maybe maybe you don't necessarily have to be like perfectly on time with that. And fortunately there is no timer for each stage, so you can you can kind of afford to chill out a little bit. Huh. The last one didn't get fast. Maybe that's just a property of the bug boys. I don't know. I'm no Mario expert. Oh. I, I, I should have known immediately that they don't jump high enough uh, for you to get under them. Okay. That's one crab, that's good. And we do have that POW block there, which I probably should be using a little more, uh, liberally. Oh! It completely baited me. Look at that. I thought that, uh... I'd be able to use it on the bug, but the bug was midair when I hit the POW block, so... There it went. Okay. That's right, remember. Flipped bodies deflect... The other things. Oh gosh, the monsters, the whatever you want to call them. The enemies. Ah, the fireball again! The fireball is going to end more runs here. Yeah, this is another one of those games. Uh, this game also got an Atari 2600 um, port. And as you would expect, you know, it was not at all an impressive thing. It was functional, so I guess maybe maybe that alone right there is impressive. <laughs> Depends on your expectations of the average Atari 2600 game, which I mean, I don't know. being functional is honestly kind of impressive <laughs> for some of those 2600 titles, but... Like, I feel like the only Atari 2600 game that I consistently think is, like, legitimately good to this day is Pitfall. I, uh, I hate the hitboxes on those there. This, oh gosh. This, this runs a lost cause. Let's just, let's just end it here, you know? We gotta start over. Those two immediate deaths, that's no good. I'm getting greedy, I'm getting quick. That was interesting. The coin actually uh, sent him the other direction, which I guess, you know, judging by the game logic so far, you should probably expect that to happen. Anyway, there's not a lot I can say about this game, you know, and until we get a new enemy type or something. I don't even know if we get anything beyond the beyond the bugaboos or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so until then, how was your day? What have you been playing? Have you made any great strides on what you have been playing? Uh, How's the weather? What's your name? Where do you live? What do you like to eat? Do you prefer cows or goat's milk? You know, all the big questions. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. That was, I think, a, uh, a sensible use of the POW block there. 
It may not have been the uh, most high octane optimal use, but uh, it kept us alive. Oh, getting that jump is tricky. Okay. And again, what was I even worried about? Time to spare. I myself, uh, besides my uh, Fallout 3 run and my uh, ongoing Dynasty Warriors 2 uh, battle, uh, I have been playing a, a, a bit of Code Vein since I since I did order that. Decided, well, heck, I bought it. Should probably play it. <laughs> Something that I'm not always great at doing, but uh, it's it's good. It's quite good, actually. It's I wouldn't say it's as I mean, okay. I'm gonna start comparing this to Dark Souls because it is very, very on the nose about being a uh, Dark Souls clone, for lack of a better term. So, just, uh, prepare for that. Um, it's not as hard as Dark Souls. Uh, I hate the fireball! Um, the boss battles are quite hard, but the regular, like, everyday stuff going between area to area isn't quite as as tricky. Of course, it has its moments, um, and I'm still not very far in the game, so who knows how blisteringly difficult things could get, but uh, it is just uh, genuinely very, very fun if you are into Souls-type games. So far, with me only being a few hours in, I would say that it's uh, definitely worth worth a shot. It's a plenty fun title. The only thing I could see maybe turning some people off to it would be the uh, very overtly anime art style, which I know is definitely not everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine. But if that kind of thing does not um, bug you... Okay, well, that's how that works. If that kind of thing doesn't bother you, then... Uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It has some it has some unique systems, so as to not just be a uh, complete Souls clone. <laughs> it does do a few things, um, kind of on its own, like the way that you. Uh, gosh, I'm saying uh, a lot. Like the way that you get your spells and passives and stuff like that. You can switch any class whenever you want. And certain classes learn certain skills, of course. But once you master a certain skill you can utilize that with any other class in the game so it is it really is kind of a build your own class kind of thing but at the same time you also have to put in the effort to actually play as some of the other classes to get to that point so i think it's a it's a nice way to allow you to build your character how you want while also kind of um getting you out of your comfort zone and making you try something that you may not have necessarily tried before so i think it's a really good system and i think it works a lot out of here, Fireball. And of course, the combat is exactly as you'd expect. There is a uh, really unique kind of uh, system in place, ah, every time, called the uh, Blood Drain system, where if you land certain types of attacks on enemies, like if you backstab them or if you do a super long build up drain attack, uh, it adds to your overall magic uh, capacity for that life so when you go to like rest at a resting point or anything it's gone you reset back to your standard magic level but you can really build up a rock solid foundation of uh a lot of magic points that you can of course save up for a boss encounter later on or something like that and i think that that's also a uh, pretty neat encounter it gives you kind of a risk versus reward thing of where you say, how am I gonna fight this? And you regain your magic points not by having to rest, but just by fighting with melee, which I think is fantastic too. That was always an issue I had with the Dark Souls magic system, and I, I, I hesitate to say issue because magic was so overpowered in that game. Um, but if you lost magic points, as far as I know, you pretty much just had to rest at a, rest at a campfire to get them back. So if you were, if you ran out in the field, yeah, guess what? That's out. You're done. Nothing left for you here. Code Vein, though. You just run up and start smacking some dude in the face, and you'll get your magic power back. I think it's a very effective uh, way of handling it. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty elegant game. 
so far the art design hasn't been uh, outstanding. It's mostly been just a series of uh, ruined abandoned buildings, <laughs> uh, which you know it's uh, it, it's a fine aesthetic, but it's been pretty one note so far. Okay, bad bonus stage. Yeah, so the art design's been fairly one note. You know, a bunch of over the top anime characters in uh, a very post apocalyptic ruined setting. So I'm hoping that uh, things start to look visually a little more interesting. Ah, I'm not into the uh, I'm not into the physics of this game, you know. Obviously, with practice, anybody can get good at this game. I could get good at this game if I decided to play enough of it, but you know, it's the kind of thing where you question. Is it worth getting good at that uh, Mario Brothers? I almost called it Super Mario Brothers, but no, 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 no. That's a that's a totally different game. It's easy to see why this was not the game that changed the face of gaming. I'll put it that way. It's it's a fine it's a fine enough arcade game, you know. I don't think anyone's gonna be upset about this game. Got him. I mean, especially back in the day, you know. If this game got ported to the Atari 2600, we'd have to assume that it was, you know, obvious. Well, clearly, it came out in that era. And we all know how simple games were back then. I mean, sheesh, you look at Adventure, and, and that was considered one of the more complex games of the time. You look at Adventure now, and you go, what am I looking at? Just trying to flip him down to my level here, but he wasn't having it. Interesting little setup we got there. Not the best setup because, you know, it didn't allow for us to get that sweet double kill and get uh, those extra points. Okay, let's try to not botch the the bonus stage here. That's right, don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Now it's, it's pretty much a sure thing now. I don't know how you can even deny. We've never beat it with over two seconds on the clock there, so... That's a high point for us. Beautiful. Okay, we actually want to jump up this side, because this dude's going to come down here, and then you bop him, you get him out of the picture immediately. You know, if you can't start chaining crab kills, then at least start getting them out of the picture one at a time as soon as you can, because uh, they definitely do... Um, what am I looking for? They... They definitely snowball. <laughs> Once they start showing up, they become very, very deadly if you let them continue to exist. Now, what I mean is they'll flood the screen, obviously. That's, that's, that's what I'm really searching for in the deep recesses of my vocabulary. If those are the deep recesses, You've got some fixing up to do. Look at that. Yeah, that, that counted as a double kill. Run this way so we get the coins. Bop the crab. Get this coin because I'm greedy. And now we simply wait. We wait for the crab to come to us. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, don't even try to pick a fight with the fireball because you fail every single one of them. You're never gonna win. Okay, three points. Three points. <laughs> we have three points in the entire game. We're good. Ah, it's so hard to jump over enemies. I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably not worth trying to jump over them. And this is what I'm talking about when I say they flood the screen. This is this is bad news here. Ah, oh, oh, no, no, no! There was no good way of handling that, except you know to never get into that situation in the first place. If you can't prevent it, then you gotta mitigate it. We didn't mitigate it, and as a result, we pay the price. That's, yeah, dodge that coin. You can do it. Can't dodge enemies, but boy, you can sure dodge coins. Get out of there. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm hoping we can pull a new top score out of this, you know? Not like that. Okay, okay, it's okay. Take your time. I think there is actually kind of like a soft timer built in. Like, I think that if enemies make so many laps around the course, they, uh, you do just eventually lose. Oh, no, I thought I had the sideways momentum, but I didn't. Oh, shoot. It's tricky stuff. Maybe some of you are Mario Brothers experts and you're saying, it's not tricky at all. I say, well, I'm proud of you for being so good at Mario Brothers, truly. <laughs> I'm sure you can dodge the green fireball, but, you know, it's... It has certainly not been... Ah! Uh, something that I've been capable of. We did technically set a new top score. It wasn't by a lot, it wasn't impressive, but it is there. Again, I'm I'm just going under the assumption that game type B is just hard mode. And we're struggling enough with easy mode, so, you know. How much is that really gonna do for us? Oh, you jerk. Uh, even bigger jerk! Oh, no, 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 no. Again, that was my fault. I got, uh, very greedy. Losing a life in the very first phase never bodes well for the run as a whole. But yeah, uh, Code Bane. It's a fun game. That's what I got. Of course, I did mention that I did also order Death Stranding. I'm not quite playing that one yet. Uh, um, I don't want to start too many games at once because that's how you wind up never finishing them, you know? Like... You gotta kind of manage the load of games that you've got going on at one time. Or else your backlog becomes insurmountable. At least my backlog does. There we go. It's not perfect, I mean, you know, we're still down a life way early on. Oh, no! Okay, that's, it's really hard to get both of those in one go. I, oh, uh, yep, we, we botched it. It's definitely possible, you've seen me do it. Ah. Uh, that hurts, that hurts. But, nothing you can do about it. I'll, I'll tell myself that to feel better about it, because the reality of the situation is, uh, literally all of it is on your shoulders. It, it, only you can do anything about it. <laughs> Look at that. Set up the double kill. Look at that pointage. Ah, oh, no! <sighs> Outsmarted by a crab. And that's where I beat the stage while losing a life and then act all cocky like I've just done something incredible. Even though it was a uh, very subpar performance. Oh, don't mind if I do. Just funnel that coin right to my coffers. And then you just... You get them both in one go. I say you should get bonus points for uh, knocking out multiple enemies in one jump. Uh, please add that to the next patch. For this game to be truly esports ready, we're gonna need uh, advanced tactics like that. Okay, well, you know, uh, this crab, he's getting the better of me. Oh my god. <laughs> when will it end? There we go, now it'll end. Because we didn't get destroyed by the fireballs, which means we're fine for now. Will we ever see the pu the the, uh, the pupils of Phase Eight? Don't know. I'd love to. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, let that, let that dude on the bottom just uh, do his own thing here. He's a lost cause. I'm realizing more and more and more with playing this game that it's a game about picking your battles. It's not necessarily a game about, you know, having the best reflexes or uh, having the greatest hops. It's, it's more about, you know, deciding what you're gonna go for and what you're gonna let go. Which, if you really wanted to make a case for it, you could claim that every single game is about that. Oh, we actually hopped over him. I felt a little weary of getting that close to the uh, pipe entrance, but it worked out for us in the end. Look at this, another, another beautiful, not quite a double, it didn't, it didn't count uh, monetarily as a double kill, but... <laughs> like how they get stuck on the pipes, kind of. Look at the way we juggle him. Okay. It is phase eight. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not just aesthetic. The ice is icy. No! <laughs> you know how I feel about ice, you know? Ice is pretty much consistently the most unfun surface in any video game that you put it in. Fortunately, it was just the bonus stage that had it. I thought that, like, Phase 9 here was gonna have it, and I was about to... ...just turn the game off right then and there. No, I wouldn't have done that! I owe you all a full, uncut hour of gameplay. Uncut so long as my computer doesn't completely freeze, of course, you know. Look at that. Mr. Freeze, he's just doing his thing. Oh, ho! That's the mechanic. You can get him out of there to prevent that from happening, but... No! <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm glad we got this far. You know, see a new mechanic. You know, I always like, uh... Showcasing as much as I possibly can in these single hours, in including, you know, showcasing my atrocious math abilities. Which I hope some of you found enjoyable in some bizarre way. <laughs> I learned a long time ago that people do enjoy uh, watching people be bad at things every now and then, so... You know, maybe if nothing else, I can make a living off of that. Just fall back on being bad and everything will fall into place. Okay, we we hopped him over there. Oh! <laughs> That's where the reflexes do kick in. That's where you do just have to be quick and think on your feet about that, because... Uh, you could have very easily completely eaten it there. Okay, okay, okay. Things are getting a little out of hand here. It's actually the first time that we've even used the power block this entire run, though, so that feels pretty good, you know? We're, we're being a responsible adult about our POW usage. Oh, gosh. I am not prepared for the tragedy of the ice. Don't need to tell you how happy I am that uh, I avoided that. Look at this, though! 71,000 points! We're doing something here! Shoot. <laughs> we just gotta wait this boy out. Get some, get some points for uh, destroying our little ice boy up there. Now, is, is that the same Mr. Freezy from Super Smash Bros.? You know, the item that freezes people. I know all you hardcore Smash Brothers out there, uh, toss your nose up at items, but, uh, hey, items make the game fun. 
Items mean it's not a real indicator of your skill. Blah, 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 blah. No, yeah, you know. I'm sure some people care. I was gonna say no one cares, but no, no, no. That's a reductive statement. And reductive statements are negative statements. Ah, uh, no, we, we ate it. 75,000 points did make it to phase 12, so, again, that's something. What a pleasant little song. This was another game where I, uh, I loaded up the ROM, everything was real stretched and slow, and I realized, ah, yeah, this is, uh, this is a European ROM. Is everything just, uh, stretchy and slow in Europe? Like, I'm not talking, like, like your media, I'm talking just, like, life, life in general. You just go outside and everything is stretched out like taffy. And I suppose, you know, the general speed of life would uh, depend completely on where you are. I've heard that uh, some countries, especially in the more rural areas, are very, very slow. Things just, uh, you know, people mind their own business, take it a day at a time. There's no real urgency to much of anything. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not saying that if you are a rural European, you're lazy. No, far be it for me to imply such a thing. But if you're a rural European, I sincerely doubt that you're watching this video in the first place, so um, what am I really hiding? Look at that! 4.2 points on the clock! That was... Not, still not quite perfectly executed, but very well executed! You should get a time bonus for that, I think. You know, it should pat you on the back and say, good job, you beat that really quick. So again, this platform... Seems to kind of be the trick to uh, making things happen in this game. You just kind of stick out here. Wait for the enemies to come to you through the top pipes. It's fine if they cycle down to the bottom. Who cares, you know? Just camp out here for a little bit and uh, all your dreams will come true. Is it the uh, fastest and most efficient method? No. Is it the cowardly method? Uh, most likely, yes. But we're not here to be the greatest Mario Brothers player of all time. We're here to give you the best possible outing of uh, 60 minutes of Mario from a complete novice that we can. So, there you go. What are you going to complain about? And if you do have any complaints, uh, I know I've said this many times, but uh, please do let me know. Please do provide me with any feedback that you feel would make this uh, channel a... Uh, smoother running machine, anything that you believe would improve the content. I am very open to it. I strive to make this the most entertaining thing as possible for those who watch it. This is not this is not for me here. I am getting effectively nothing out of this here, except for, you know, the satisfaction of maybe improving somebody's day with a goofy little video of an old ass video game. I did make a comment on the last video, uh, we, uh, did get our very first copyright strike, uh, for the, uh, 10 seconds of Spanish Flea used in, uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Not like it matters, because I'm, I'm not making money off these videos anyway, obviously. So, you know, it's, it's, a uh, it's more of a, uh, ceremonious, a ceremonial, there we go, yeah, it's more of a ceremonial copyright strike than anything else. Something to say, congratulations, here's your first copyright strike. And then it makes me wonder, how do the clone hero streamers and YouTubers do it? How do they stay alive in this climate? <laughs> I play clone hero all the time, by the way. I've uh, considered making the occasional video about it, but then I realized, well, you know, it would just get probably muted anyway, because uh, it's pretty much exclusively licensed music. <laughs> Licensed music in the most unlicensed possible way. It's it's a match made in heaven <laughs> for the uh, the copyright drones. We still got full uh, full lives going on here. What's what is this? Oh oh no 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 no! 
Oh, yeah, even with the icy bonus. We got it. 2.8 seconds left. It's going to be a big point spike. See, those extra 5,000 points, that is not insignificant. Don't let anybody tell you that it is. Oh. Uh, takes you just a little long to get up to this platform, which, you know, you can easily miss a cycle on some of those enemies. But, uh, in this situation, don't mind if I do. And there you go. We'll bump this guy off, too. Jump over the freezy, and look at that. It's a clean level. Another beautifully clean level. See, we are improving. We are absolutely improving. Oh. Couldn't get the double off on him. Just a little too slow. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you know, that was, that was on me. As all deaths in this game are, can't rightly blame the game for me dying, because I'm the one who put myself in that kind of situation in the first place. Too many people, they don't, uh, they don't take responsibility for their own, uh, for lack of a better term, badness in video games. A lot of people, they're very, they're very quick to blame the game for their death. They're quick to blame anything besides them, really. But, uh, let it be known, you will not hear that from me. Don't, don't hold that to me. Don't quote me on that. There's probably going to be a game at some point where I'm going to say there was nothing that I could have done. <laughs> I have my limits, you know. Okay, good. Uh, things were things were getting um, spooky towards the end there. We're 10 points off from our high score, so we're virtually guaranteed to uh, beat the top score. I've said that before, and I've ended up watching it, but we're good, we're good. Can confirm. Oh, look at those hops. Look at those strats. It's not perfect. <laughs> it never will be. We will never be perfect at this game. But look at that, 80,000. 80,000. Take every bit of improvement where you can get it. Don't ever shut your own improvements down. Don't say, that was luck. Accept that you've, you've done something better than you've ever done it before. And so, we have. We haven't done it better than anybody in the world has ever done it before, clearly. That would be a... Uh, kind of hilarious statement to make. But you know, if you if you yourself can improve your own efforts, you own that. Oh, <laughs> that was maybe the worst thing that we've uh, done in this game, you know? That was that was not much of an accomplishment in any way. Okay. Broke 85k though. You know, at this point, you know, counting by every 5,000 might be a little overexcited of us. But can you blame me, you know? F doing better at a game, it's always a great feeling. Hitting new milestones. Ooh. Okay, that's not it. That's not the end. That's the end. All right. The fastest crab in the West. Again, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Avoid the fireball altogether. It's not worth getting involved with. Those kinds of guys ain't no good. They'll get you involved in all kinds of stuff. Do we have another bonus at this point? Yeah, we do. Of course, it's just gonna be ice from now on. I mean, that's pretty much uh, evident. Oh no. Okay, well, there goes <laughs> there goes the perfect. But still. It's still going to be enough to uh, get us over 100k. Look at that. Good. I'd like to get at least one out there at the starting line. Good. We're good. We're focused in. We're paying, we're paying lots of attention here. 
Ah! <laughs> We're still fine. Remember, he's coming on this side. Intercept him on this side. There you go. You bump him right down. You go to phase 15. They said we'd never make it, but look where we are now. Setting regional records. By region, I mean this home. This single house <laughs> has never accomplished such a Mario Brothers score. Unless the old dude who lived here before I bought it uh, was an avid Mario Brothers player, then I guess, you know, maybe... Maybe I'm not even right about that, but I for some reason, you know, have my doubts about that. Ah, uh, it was a matter of time, you know? I got cocky. I thought I've survived its, its jaws multiple times now. I can... I can get through this. Turned out to not be true. And we were punished for our hubris. But still, you know, that phase... What was that, 15? Better than I thought I'd get. And, uh... I, for some reason, doubt at this point that there's gonna be really much more to see. Like, I think the, uh... The freezies... Are probably about the peak of, uh... <laughs> the surprises in this game. Maybe I'm wrong, and I'm missing out on, like, the coolest thing ever. Maybe Mario suits up in a mobile suit in the final phase, and it, it, it turns into the greatest, um, mecha game you've ever seen. Sign me up for that. I love giant robots. Does anybody else love giant robots? Uh, they're just fun. I know I, I have some friends who very much do not like giant robots, and I tell them, wow, well... Good luck when the uh, future wars come and uh, all our wars are fought by giant robots and uh, you'll have said you hate giant robots and then the government will throw you in an internment camp. Who'll be laughing then? Spoilers, it'll be me. You'll say, I don't, you'll say, I don't care for giant robots and the government will say, excuse me? We're not getting this, by the way. This this, this was uh, very poorly executed. No! <laughs> We're so close to just that one coin. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of an exhausting game, to be honest. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's a very clearly defined gameplay loop. There's no confusion as to what you're supposed to be doing. It's just, I don't know, it's, uh, it's got that kind of thing where, like, as you keep playing it, you just kind of keep getting more ex tired. <laughs> You're like, oh, yes, I get it, I get it. Jump up, hit the platforms, do all this. Should have to board the platforms, the, uh, forgotten Smash Brothers minigame. Ah, <laughs> we couldn't get the double hop on him like we usually get. Well, that's disappointment time. Who dares challenge Mario? Conqueror of crabs. Well, whoever whoever it is, it's, it's probably this guy, and he's uh, he's probably gonna get totally bent. Or. He'll call his friend Fireball to juke me. That's the other outcome that I had not for a moment considered. I like these guys because they're slow enough to where I can immediately get a jump start on them. I can run up to that platform and uh, get them on their heads pretty much right out of the gates. Feels good. Yeah, we, you know, we're letting that coin go, but again, you know... Pick your battles. What's worth it? Beating the phase or getting an extra coin? I mean, if you're going for a high score, possibly getting the extra coin. I don't know if this game runs out, you get to like phase 99, and then does the game just end? I'd have to assume so. The game can't go, go on forever. 
of course, modern games have disproven that and said, actually, the games can totally go on forever. But, uh, you know, we didn't have the same procedural generation technology in this era that we do now. This era being the era that you're looking at on the screen, clearly. But no, now we got games like the, the Binding of Isaac, where, you know, you can play for, like, 10,000 hours and still get a new, well, new experience every time. I put new in uh, air quotes, because, uh, you know, it's, it's, st it's still the same game. Don't get confused about it. You're still, you're still playing The Binding of Isaac. Oh, it's, it's tricky, it's tough, it's close. Oh, we did it. We did it, by the skin of our teeth. Of course we'd get that one, but not the uniced one. That's just that's just silly. Who do you even think you are to be pulling stuff off like that? Ah, uh, yes, the realm of the freezies. Here they are. But you know, I don't really go down on those platforms like ever, so they're really not a factor. I see the freezies and I say, so what? What are you gonna what are you gonna do? Ice a platform I'm never gonna walk on in my life? Really dumb walk there. Really dumb walk. It was a really dumb jump. It was so dumb that I can't even refer to it by the it's a uh, proper verb. Alright, well. You got me there. Oh you. And, you know, it, it may look like I'm flubbing this up, um, and that's because I am. But, uh, sincerely, play this game. Its controls are... real stiff. It's, it's still better than Ice Climbers jumping. But, uh... Oh, I thought I'd be able to do that, you know, that whole, like, hop in between them. Ooh, that's not a good place for the, uh for the icy to be, the freezy. This is my favorite platform, how dare you? How dare you even for a moment? This is, this is, okay. And that's that's about how I expected it would end with that uh, with that platform being completely iced over. One might call it the coolest platform in the game. All right, we got like seven minutes left, so I may as well try game type B. See if it just like immediately starts throwing crabs at us. Oh, well, so far it you know looks like the exact same thing. It immediately throws Bowser at you. Look at that. We used that platform for a change. D is this game type B? Because this is this is the same this is the same top score. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, now nah, here we go. Now we're proper. I was like, I don't see any difference. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because when we reset. It eliminates all the high scores anyway, so this could very well... Do game type A and B just share a high scoreboard? I don't know. I'm confused. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because this is still the exact same amount of, uh, Coopers. Meaning I don't know what's up with game type B. It's questionable. Watch this. Oh, I was gonna jump over the one and then knock the other on its back, but instead I did, you know, I did not that. I did something much less impressive. Maybe I just reset the emulator so that the scores would reset so anything that I did would feel impressive. I'd say, oh, look at that new top score, because the top was zero. Yeah, see, that's what I tried to do earlier. You get one on its back, you jump over the other, she gets style points for that. Now we wait. Yeah. 
What? Excuse me. Okay. He just didn't want to get removed. I get it. It's fine. Does it count? It does count! Okay, I thought you had to hit the ground, but no! We, we, we did beat it with zero seconds on the clock, so there you go. The question that nobody asked, answered. Thank you, Game Type B, for providing me with a uh, wildly new and exciting gameplay experience. We've done that so many times. Uh, but I mean, it's kind of funny, so who cares? Look at that. Perfectly executed. After something embarrassingly terribly executed, of course. I'm just, I'm just counting down the clock, you know? We're almost, we're almost done with it. It's nearly over. You got any, uh, you got any other friends? Yeah, there's, there's your other crabby friends. I was gonna say, this is that phase where, uh, there's a... <laughs> okay. This is that phase where there's a very oddly, uh, long time between the last two crabs and the other crabs. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> okay, you got me. Fair game. What was that happy little sound? Because nothing happy happened. No, oh, the fireballs! Oh, that was such a quick game over. I was really hoping to, you know, run the last two minutes of this video out on that run, but, well. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And then we just... <laughs> uh, okay. I get you. I get you. Oh. It, it's like I said before. I maintain my statement. It's an exhausting game. It's not, it's not a very leisurely game, which I mean, you know, it's the NES, there aren't, a lot of the games are kind of exhausting. I mean, if you think that you're gonna get a, uh, nice laid back time with Ninja Gaiden or something like that, well, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. But, we're good. Just wait until we get to such incredible games like Color a Dinosaur. You think I'm joking. I wish I was. Fortunately, you know, this first bonus stage is a little uh, forgiving in terms of the uh, the time it gives you. I haven't even been checking. Is it the same time for every bonus stage and I've just performed particularly poorly on some of them? I don't know. Boy, I'm tired of looking at these crabs. Their smug aura mocks me. And now they're angry, boys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that double. I wonder how many points you get for a triple, huh? But you know, that would be, that'd be kind of a nightmare to set up. Obviously, it's possible, you know, it's, that's what all of the, uh, top Mario Brothers players, you know them, you know the names, you know, guys like Mario Fan for life. That's that. I'm done with it, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's more or less an hour, I'm like th 13 seconds off or something like that. 
uh, that's that's Mario Brothers. You know, it was it was an arcade port when it came out for the NES. Uh, it's an arcade port now. It hasn't gained much of anything to solidify it as anything truly incredible. It's kind of a run-of-the-mill arcade game. I mean, I don't know if people put it on a pedestal because it's Mario or something like that. I don't even know how people do feel about it. Uh, oh, it looks like it was only modestly successful in uh, Japanese arcades. It got a 4.9 out of 10 from uh, GameSpot uh, on the Virtual Console. So, yeah, apparently nobody really cares too much about it. Apparently it's not a very good com very good arcade port. I haven't played the, the original arcade version in any um, way, actually, but uh, yeah... It's there if you want it. If you're out to just be a total completionist and buy like every Mario game ever, then there it is. It's for you. If you actually really do just genuinely love the game, then I guess it's also for you. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm pretty lukewarm on it, to be honest. It's a... Uh, it's uh, not much to go off of. So... Join me next time as we look at a different game. Hold on, I'm pulling up the list right now. Oh, no. I don't, I don't even need the list. I know what game it is next because I accidentally spoiled it. Next game is Popeye, uh, which is another arcade conversion for the NES. So there you go. Join me then. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and you always have yourself a, a wonderful, dandy little day.